So I decided to do the FUE hair transplant procedure. And this is me getting the mop chopped off. Yep, you are shaving the ninja. As these ladies were cutting my hair, they realized I was the Cajun ninja. Kind of funny. That's cool, man. I, I really literally make it. your gumbo. <laughs> I can't believe you just found out while, while we were doing this stuff. Yeah, that was oh two God. years of hair growth. Maybe that did have a lot of gray. Going to there we go. I don't know yet. I'm just documenting the process. We'll see what happens. I do have hopes of it being worth it. And in this video, you'll see from day one to three months. So there it is. This is the next day after the procedure. Um, procedure went well, man. I, I mean, they, they numb your head up pretty much where you don't really feel anything. I, I'd probably say the worst part about it is the numbing. Uh, because they do hit like nerves that they're numbing that are like, oh, that one stung a little bit, but it's not terrible. I mean, it wasn't nothing that I couldn't get through. Uh, but the overall process, it just takes a while. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the hairline here. Um, you know, I think today they're gonna just wash it for me, uh, kind of double check everything. And um, hopefully it's a smooth process. All right, so I did my first little hair washing as you can see, uh, there's still some scabbing and uh, you know a little bit of dry blood there, but that'll that will all come off. Um, the swelling's not too bad. I'm actually pretty fortunate on that aspect, and the pain's not really bad either. I'm probably at like maybe a one, uh, and that's only if I kind of touch it. But uh, yeah, overall, I'm I'm pretty happy with the process. I know it's going to be a long process from here. Um, there's even a point where it kind of falls out, then fully grows back. But, uh, you know, I'm excited to do this and uh, hopefully create something here for you guys to see uh, for whoever may be interested. It says on my little paper day two, but you have like surgery day, then day one, then day two. So I guess this would be day, day three. Uh, first, second full day after surgery. Um, swelling seems to have gone down a little bit. I know I said earlier it wasn't swelling much. And then we took the little bandage off last night. My kids thought I looked like Megamind. <laughs> But uh, it's looking pretty good now, man. Uh, this one seems to be going down a little bit. Try to see if I can show you guys the back side here. If I can, if not that. Uh, I don't know if I, I'm getting it there. That's about as good as I can give you. But uh, I'm just gonna put some, some of that ointment back on the back area where all the holes are and wrap it up and let it go from here. But. I like the hairline, man. It looks looks pretty natural. It's not some straight line, you know what I mean? It's a line for a guy in his 40s. <laughs> All right, let's get this thing wrapped up. All right, I've gone three full days after surgery. Um, looks, looks all right, man. It looks like the, the redness is not as much as it was before. Um, I can definitely see, like, some, I guess, some swelling here a little bit. You can kind of see. But um, overall, it looks pretty good. Still hanging in there. I thought it was like four days, but my wife was giving me a hard time. The paper says day three, but it says like surgery day, day one, day two, day three. That's four to me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but this is what it's looking like overall on the back. Try to show you guys if I can. Uh, let's see. Uh, hopefully you guys saw that. I'll check the video. <laughs> All right, so it's officially day four. Things are looking pretty pretty good. Um, some of that uh, swelling and all and whatnot kind of has come down to my eye area here, which they said is completely normal. It can't happen. I just look like I'm the lead singer of Alice in Chains now. Here come the rooster. <laughs> nah, but uh, like overall, the, the hairline and all is looking good. Uh, the back to head, again, you know, as you can see there, uh, trying to show you guys my, I know my, my whole counter there's a mess, but um, that's how things are right now. Let's see if I can turn this way. And uh, hopefully you guys kind of saw that, but yeah, I, I think the all the scabs are kind of drying up. I'm looking forward to washing this. Uh, the hardest part has been like not being able to scratch it. Uh, sometimes I make my wife and kids scratch their own head just so I can enjoy seeing what that looks like. <laughs> But uh, yeah, uh, we seem to be getting through this here. I had forgot to mention that for the first four nights, I had to sleep in an upright position, which was pretty difficult, man. I mean, I enjoy a good night's sleep, but they say you can risk rubbing the grafts out of your head. 
and that made me not want to sleep at all. Other than not scratching my head, this was probably the hardest part. All right, here we are, day five. I do officially have black eyes. Uh, they said this happens regularly. Uh, not everybody it happens to, but it does happen pretty often, and it's usually nothing to be alarmed by. I guess, you know, you had a lot of stuff poked around your head, and that stuff does eventually drain down. Um, we saw yesterday I looked like some eyeliner, now it's some official black eyes. And, you know, even though I look like I've been punched in the face, I do not feel like I've been punched in the face, so that's good. Um, but, you know, overall, everything's healing very well up top. Um, you know, the, the scabs are, you know, slowly starting to go away. And uh, tomorrow, I finally get to wash hair like normal. I'll show you the back here as best I can. And uh, let's see, let's take a look. I don't know. That way, we'll do it one more time here just to make sure I got it. There we go, yeah. But um, yeah, uh, all, all in all, I look like I, I just got out of uh, UFC 300. Uh, and I definitely lost, <laughs> but um, I feel great. I feel great, and uh, this is starting to feel a lot better. I mean, uh, you know, as far as uh, the, the overall itching, good, that's terrible. And, um, you know, the, the pain maybe in the back of the head, which hasn't been much. It's just been, been very minor, but there's all little points here and there. But, you know, so far, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm look, looking all right, I think, but uh, we still have a long way to go. But here's an update. All right, here we are, day six. And yes, I look like I just got off the prelims of a UFC card. <laughs> uh, but like I said before, the good thing is I don't feel like I did. Um, but yeah, there is some uh, black eyes here, which like they told me that could happen. Um, it, it is common that, that, that it will drain down. Um, it, it's, you can see it kind of dissipating. Uh, the swelling's not as bad as it was around this part of my eye yesterday. Um, but all in all, I mean, you know, I just gotta go through the process. Today, I actually got to wash my hair for the first time, or my scalp, I should say, and that felt amazing. Oh, to let water touch my head and just kind of trickle was really awesome. I can tell you, probably the worst part for me was just not being able to want to just like rub my fingers through all this, but, um, but we, we got there. Um, looking good. A lot of the scabs are starting to come out here. Um, once again, I'll try to turn this around so you can see the back of my head. There you go. Right there. Oh, let me get this little, this way here. I'm trying to do it a little further away here, so I can, if I have to go vertical. There we go. Uh, as good as it can get, you know. But um, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm pumped to finally have gotten to this point. So, uh, you know, we just keep trucking along here. I am uh, currently also taking the uh, oral forms of minoxidil and finasteride, which they say is real important to do the medical therapy of you know, bringing back your hair to its full potential. I'm trying to do everything right, you know, everything by the book. Um, so hopefully, uh, you know, the results will come in in the future, but this is part of the process of documenting. So right here was a good look at the back of my head. I figure some people might want to see the healing process of the donor area. It does get better over time. All right, so it's been officially over a full week, like a week and a day. Um, still got the little black eyes here. Um, you know, it is what it is. I mean, that's got to just make their way out. Uh, some of the scabbing is still kind of there. Not too bad. But, yeah, I mean, once again, this is the update. You know, let's take a look at the back of the head here. Yep. Try to hold it this way. And there we go. All right. All right, so it has been officially 12 days. 12 days, all the scabbing has pretty much healed up. Um, you can see some of the shedding actually kind of happened. Um, they say that's normal. Uh, what happens is it's called shock loss. And the little hairs that are attached to the grafts that have been in place uh, come out. So it does look a little thinner, but you can still see my overall hairline that they've created. Um, and from here, it's just a process. I'm probably gonna go through what they call the ugly duckling phase, uh, which it sheds even more. And then from there, the little hairs start growing out. And then like six to eight months, I start to see about maybe 50% of the result. And then a full year from now is when you get, you know, the real result. At least I hope. <laughs> we shall see. But, you know, going through it, man. Look, here's the back of my head. And, uh, Looks pretty good. See that? 
And that is it right there. Still got some of these black eyes here, but uh, yeah, that's just taking its time to make its way out. All right, so it's officially been a full two weeks. Um, it's still, I mean, it still looks kind of thin on the top, but there's hair everywhere. So I'm happy about that. You know, uh, two weeks is super early. Um, it's, it's probably a little thinner on this side, but I do have a lot of hair that grows in on this side versus this side, like just normally. So I think that's why they didn't maybe do as much. Um, and also too, like I said, I'm so early into this. We'll see what happens, but uh, the little black eyes are barely there. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I just, I'd take, a, I'd take a while for bruises to leave my body. I don't know, it's just how I've always been. But uh, you know, overall, um, I'm, I'm feeling good about the timeline of where we're at now. I think I'm still gonna hit a, a shedding phase, which is, uh, you know, supposed to happen in the next couple of weeks. And I think between like month one and two, you, you have the, this shedding phase, but um, yeah, so far so good. Let's go take a look at the back. Yeah. And then try to get this angle for you guys. All right, about as good as it gets. That's it. Okay, so it has been officially three weeks since I had the uh, FUE procedure. And as you can see, it's very thin now. Um, a lot of the shedding has begun, which they say will happen. If you do any research of this online, well, you know, reading or video, you will know that it's called shock loss and uh, a lot of the little hairs, they start to fall out. Apparently the root stays, but the little hair that's attached to the root um, for some reason just falls out and then it takes a couple months and then the new hairs start to come in. So uh, that's why you see a lot of thinning up here. But the cool thing is you still see like a hairline, you know, like you still see the, the hairline of where they did it. So I'm happy with that. You know, I know I got to put up with this for a little minute, but um, overall um, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, so this is the back of my head. You can see that. And then here's the other way, best I can. And there you go. And that's it. All right, so it has been officially one whole month since I had the FUE procedure on my hair. Um, and to no surprise, a lot of it has shed out of my head, I guess, or shedding has happened. Um, as I've kind of mentioned in the last few videos, it just gradually happens. And then I know about this point, it's almost getting to like the worst of the shedding. You know, as you guys can see, it's kind of come out of this area. Um, it's lighter up here, and even right here. But, uh, you know, you can still kind of see the line there um, because there are some like tiny little bits of hair. What it is, those top hairs kind of fall out so the new hairs can come in, which will probably really start to show about month three. So I got a whole another month of looking like ugly duckling, but you know, it is what it is. Um, this is the back of my head right here. This one side, and then I will show you guys again. Other side. There we go. And that is it, one month. Okay, so we are at five weeks since the FUE transplant surgery. Um, once again, I'm in that ugly duckling phase. You know, same as what I said before. All the shedding has happened. Probably more is continuing to shed. It looks very thin up here. Um, you know, this is this is what it is, you know? There's really not much of a change between a full month and five weeks. You know, I do have some of my regular hair that's starting to grow back. And honestly, you can kind of see what kind of hair I would have had had I not done the surgery. I've got that classic patch growing right here, you know, where it's thin up here, what have you. Uh, continue to be on the medical therapy, which is the finasteride and minoxidil, um, you know, and I just got to wait it out, I guess, and see what happens. But overall, this is the back of my head. All right. And this side right here. There we go. Ah, such is life. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Six full weeks have gone by and uh, not much has changed. The uh, hair that I've had in the past before the FUE procedure is starting to grow a little bit, but uh, of course, everything else they've done has, uh, you know, kind of fallen out here. Uh, you know, there's not really much to tell you guys from what I've already told you as far as what's happening, what's going to happen, but yeah, I'm still documenting the weekly process so that way anybody who's interested in this can, you know, kind of see what goes on from week to week, uh, 
for somebody who's had this procedure. But yeah, so here we are. Um, like I said, I, still, I mean, I've said before, I still kind of got that line. Uh, it actually looks a little pink um, because they say that that lasts for a while, that pink color. Um, what it is, just your body um, fighting off any kind of infections or I don't know if it's necessarily infections, but like anytime you cut yourself, a pink lining will happen. And we're talking about a ton of incisions here. So that's uh, that's there. But they say it, fa it fades out over time. If there's anything I do notice is that some of these areas will have like little pimples, which they also say is common. It happens. Um, they, say, they say not to pop them. Uh, it's very important. Just let them heal and do the thing on their own. So that's what I'm doing. But this is me right here. Uh, it's the top, kind of thin, you know. Um, this is the back of my head. And um, I'll go ahead and show you guys, I guess, from this angle too, if I can. All right. And there you go, week number six. Okay, so we are at week number seven. So I don't want to say a lot of the same things I've been saying. I've looked back at some of these other videos and I was like, man, I'm kind of repeating myself. But a whole week goes by and I don't remember what I said. So, uh, you know, if you've seen the earlier weeks, then you know what's up. I mean, I'm in the ugly duckling phase, you know, uh, still looking thin. Uh, some of my hair that has been there is growing back. Um... I can't see much. My wife feels like I've got more hair now, but I mean, I'm still very early in the process. I'm like halfway through the ugly duckling phase. So uh, I really think I won't see anything till like maybe week 14 um, when, the, you know, the hairs that have been implanted here and uh, there will start to maybe grow out. But yeah, this is what I'm looking like right now. Still a little thin, you know. And um, this is the back of my head, which this might be the last time I show you the back of my head because I think you really can't see anything anymore when it comes to the back of my head. And, um, you know, like it, it really it is all kind of healed. Yeah, so, yeah, so that's uh, that's me in a nutshell right now. Well, maybe I'll show it to you, if, you know, if I cut it, I'll, you know. Only only haircut I've had so far really is uh, my wife has trimmed around my neck and my ears. But uh, this hair is starting to kind of grow right here. So I think I may have her do some type of fading up. And then we'll see what the back of my head looks like then. But for now, this is where I'm at. So on to week eight. Well, I made it to the two-month mark. And I'm still in that ugly duckling phase. However, my natural hair, which like I've said before... All of it's my natural hair. They just took my natural hair from the back and added to the top. But the hair that was already here seems to be doing a little better. I mean, um, you know, I've been taking the finasteride and minoxidil regularly, as I was told to do by my doctor. And um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of happy with that natural hair. But as I've researched and been told, none of the actual grafted implanted hair has even started to grow yet. So, and then, as you can see, like there's really nothing here, which they, they planted here, all in this area right here. You can kind of see some red bumps, but that's because um, they say you, you break out a little bit in those areas. But um, yeah, overall it, it's starting to get a little thicker up here and fuller. Um, so I'm really excited when the, the, the you know, implanted hair starts to grow. I, I, I got a lot of potential hope here, but I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch, but yes, this is what I look like overall, you know, top side, as you guys can see. I know I said I wouldn't show the back, but um, according to the dates, like in a couple days will be the nine week mark, because just the way it fell with the, the um, you know, the actual day I had the procedure done for the one month, two month. So I'm planning to let my wife actually cut my hair. So I'm gonna, just going to show you guys what it looks like in the back here without shaking too much. All right, and then I'll do one more side here. Oh. I'm actually uh, kind of shaking because I just cut the grass, but. Oh, and to address the elephant in the room, this is not from any of this right here. Um, I was playing some Call of Duty with some friends and uh, was putting the headset on and it just slipped out my hand. It was on this ear, so this slipped out and popped me, boom, right in the face. So uh, yeah, I just can't get, get rid of black eyes for whatever reason, but. Here we go, two months. So this is my first haircut since having the FUE procedure. I was actually a little nervous about this because I know with this type of procedure, there will be some scarring, you know, in the back of the head. 
The longer hair covers up the scarring, but you know, I wanted to know if I could fade my hair. At first, we did notice this one light patch right here, and I was a little worried. I was like, well, you know what? I guess maybe next time I'll just go with a higher number guard, you know, and that's just my life now. But my wife, she's an old pro, man. She's been cutting hair for a long time, so she just kind of kept moving things around, kept fading. And by the end of the haircut, I was actually really impressed. We had went with a number four guard, which is typically what I like. And to the naked eye, you really can't tell that hair has been removed from the back of my head. So for this first part of the surgery, I'm really happy. All right, so I'm kind of almost at week 10. It would be week 10 tomorrow. Um, I went ahead and skipped week nine. There wasn't much of a change there, and I knew I was cutting my hair. I did have my first haircut. Um, only the sides and the back, though, like... I told my wife, let's just leave the top. Let's kind of keep seeing what's happening. Uh, it's looking like maybe there's a little bit of growth starting here. Um, it's kind of tough to tell because I feel like maybe my other hair is filling in. But I can see like little bitty hairs. I don't know if you guys can see maybe little bitty hairs start to kind of come in there. Like you're just starting to hit the areas. Um, it's kind of tough to tell with the top, I guess, because I already still kind of had a little bit of hair there, but I I'm still thin, obviously. Um, but like I said before, man, I'm, I'm, I'm coming out of that stage. I'm about to hit three months, which is when they say that is the official start of when things happen as far as the growth of all the grafts they have implanted. So yeah, so that's where I'm at right now. I still have this like little spot right here because my hair always naturally kind of butt cutted. So they did fill in that area, so I'm, I'm looking forward to hair actually growing right there. That'll be pretty nice. Um, but overall, not too bad. Um, it's actually kind of looking like I got hair now. Well, we are on week 11, and uh, I guess you could say some things have changed. I will point out first, uh, my wife put some coloring in my hair. That's why my beard's darker, and uh, obviously I don't have nearly as many grays. You know, I'm just trying to make myself look a little younger, I guess. But overall, you can still see the growth pattern here. You can start to see the lines of hair. You can see that, like the, li the, the, the lining of the hair. I don't know what you call that. Little hairs are starting to come out right here. You can kind of see it there, uh, a little bit on this side as well. Um, I've mentioned before, I have this natural butt cut. So that always has sucked for me. However, uh, I've made it work with hair gel and what have you whenever I had a nice full of head of hair. I'm still pretty thin here up top. Um, we haven't hit the three month mark, which is when hair is supposed to start growing. As a matter of fact, they say the ugly duckling phase can last from months two to four. So I don't know, but uh, I'm gonna call it at, you know, three months, that's the start of this and we'll see what happens. But um, uh, you know, it, it is looking a little thicker here. I, I will say that, you know, I do, I do feel like there's more hair in my head when I do this. So, um, yeah, but this is the back of my head here. I think I've shown you guys this plenty enough times, but you know, some people might want to see it. Um, yeah, that's since my last little haircut, or little haircut I got. And um, yeah, still thin here, obviously, but we doing the dang thing, you know what I'm saying? So there we go, week 11. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have hit three months. It's been a uh, journey, I tell you what. Um, so this is when it's supposed to start. This is when hair is supposed to really take off from here. I mean, it's still another long process. They say from this point to the one year mark is when you see the results. Um, obviously, I'm still thin up top. Not a whole lot has changed in the last week and a half here, I guess. But you can actually see the hair coming in, um, which is wild. You know, like you, you can kind of see uh the the hair sprouting you know um it's crazy though on this side it's it's like a little less and i don't know if it's just taking a little longer maybe uh, but you can see it you can see the hair starting to come through but it, it is it is wild to see i'll tell you that much um you know this this area here definitely feels like it has more hair it doesn't necessarily look like it has more hair uh at least to me it doesn't it's hard for me to notice the changes because i see myself every day but um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually starting to feel a little better here now, you know, three month mark. But um, yeah, this is the journey, man. So 
this is probably about the point where I will upload the video, uh, the first video at least, uh, you know, the, the start to the three month mark. So this will probably be the end of this current video right here. But uh, the cool thing is, is right at about this point, you know, like, um, depending on the lighting, I guess, you know, like it does look like I have a head of hair, you know, like if I'm just like this, um, you'd think I have a head of hair from the angle you see me. Luckily, luckily for me too, I'm pretty tall. So not many people are seeing me from the top, but, um, yeah, overall this, this is it, man. This is the, the three month we are, we are starting to slowly get out of the ugly duckling phase. Uh, you know what they say? Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at right now. And, um, I'm happy to continue to show you the rest of this journey. If you guys have questions, let me know. And um, we'll go from there.